So tonight we have a bit of a fun night planned. Um, we are on our way to Minute Maid Park to watch the Astros play. So tonight they're playing the Twins. Um, they actually just got back from playing the Dodgers. Um, so we are hoping for a good game tonight. And we know um, Framber Valdez will be our starting pitcher. So um, hoping that um, we have a good night. Yeah, we're still on the truck, trying to get to the parking lot. Traffic wasn't too bad. Past couple times we've come to the game, the traffic has been terrible. Traffic was terrible going home today. But um, looking good so far. The so one thing that we're trying out today that's a little bit different is um, we're going a little old school on how we're filming today. Um, I'm gonna try to do this 100% with uh, with my cell phone. Now my cell phone is a little old, it's a little, about two years old. Um, it's actually a Samsung Galaxy S10, so no, not an iPhone user like all of you guys. But um, what Claire has, what do you have, the S21 or something mm -hmm. like that? S21 Ultra or something. Ooh, fancy. I don't know. So we'll see. You know, when we were on our Napa trip, we mainly used the uh, the GoPro. Um, it was good for, it was a GoPro Hero 9. Um, it was good for a lot of the outdoor shots, some of the indoor shots. Um, a little difficult because uh, it didn't perform well in low light situations, like in restaurants. And so the other thing that we're trying out are um, a wired in lavalier mic. Um, so we are going to a little bit noisy environment. Um, that's something that we're trying to figure out and how to improve is is the audio on um, places that are loud, especially like you know a, a stadium baseball game like we're going to and or even a restaurant. restaurants. Yeah. Restaurants is really tough. I mean, one of the restaurants that we went to in Napa. I mean, that that was pretty pretty tough to try to figure out how to um, make sure the audio worked there. So. We're hoping these wired lavalier mics um, work well, plugged directly to the phone. So um, check it out. So we're pulling up to the parking lot here in a minute. It's like 6.54. 7.10 game, I think. We don't really care about getting there right on time. We'll park and then have a, eh, what, maybe seven to 10 minute walk to the stadium. And then um, buy something to drink. I need to eat. I do too. I guess we have to figure out, because we're, we're in the club level. Cool. Oh, sounds bougie. On um, the opposite side from what we're used to. Yeah, we're on the, we're, <laughs> we typically sit on the third base side. Um, but this time today, we're actually going to be sitting on the first base side, which. Home side. I don't think we ever have. I mean, the club we, level. Yeah, I mean, we the have. The club been, level, but... that is. I mean, we. In fact, last time we were here, about a month ago now, mm -hmm. sat on the on the first level on the, I guess the the behind, right behind the home dugout. So, um, but yeah, first time in the club level on the first base side. So we typically know where everything is on the third base side, specifically the bar and um, the food, of course. There's so, no lack of bars, though. We'll find a bar. Oh yeah, well, we take beelines for the bars. <laughs> Usually we would get um, mixed drinks. And um, especially when you go to uh, quite a few games in a row, it gets expensive. So the last time we were here, um, we actually found a place that had um, the like seltzer type drinks. So um, he enjoyed some Carbock Ranch Waters. Um, and I had, remember I had a Bud Light seltzer and I had another one, maybe a, another seltzer. I just got a White Claw or something. Yeah, I mean, the other thing about that is that, um, you know, the canned drinks, whether it's a seltzer or a beer, is so much cheaper than the 
the drinks that we get, I mean. All of our drinks that one night added up to like a single drink that we would have had. That's because we get doubles. <laughs> but you get a free cup out of it. You pay for it. You do pay for it. But I also have like, embarrassingly way too many of them. We could hold a watch party and use those as the cups. And then have everybody like throw them away. Oh. Sorry. Jeez. I guess I cut someone off. Oh well. It's never taken this long to come into this park lot. We're trying to park in uh, lot C um, at Minute Maid Park, which is actually closer to Dynamo Stadium. I guess it's called Phillips 6 set. What? Not 66, that's 76. I don't, I don't remember what 76 is, to be honest with you. We have a parking pass, which is nice. Although when we don't, we park in a parking lot that's about a block away from mm -hmm. the entrance that we go into. And it's really only 20 bucks, and it's really not bad because it's Definitely easy to get. Definitely not sharing that with the world. No, no, not telling <laughs> you that location. That's. All right. Good. Good, how are you? Straight down, follow me. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's a good lot. It's 20 bucks. About as close to the stadium as you can be. Well, I want to say that. For a paid lot. It's, it's a very good paid lot. Yeah, I mean, for the price, um, location, again, the access getting in and out of there is great. Mm -hmm. um, and it's generally... you know, has a lot of spots, so, mm -hmm. which is good. We're getting to the, we normally don't get to the game this late. Ooh, look how good the lighting is. What? The lighting's really good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, we're parked, we're walking. I'm on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because we're corded right now. Uh, decided not to go wireless like like we have in the past um actually didn't want to get the accidentally compensated so yeah this is kind of, actually kind of embarrassing can't see it in in screen but i got this should take a picture of it freaking cord coming out of the bottom of the camera attached to our our bodies here <laughs> so it's kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> wanted to give you guys a glimpse of of the stadium of Minute Maid Park from the outside. It's pretty neat. Walking towards the entrance, we're gonna enter into the home plate entrance here. Found this place to get some food called The Butcher. Looks like some, uh, some barbecue. I think Claire's looking for a baked potato. Can I get a chopped beef sandwich, please? Chopped beef sandwich with the chopped beef sandwich. Uh, beef. Beef. And what's your side? Yep. Spinach, baked beans, potato yeah. salad, coleslaw, peach cobbler. You have chips? We have chips down there, but I don't, I don't think it'll be the stick that we Oh, okay. Um, peach cobbler. Don't give me a All right. Thank you. Check that out. See anything over here? Sounds like the whiskey bar. Check out this bar, it's a pretty big bar. We just got to our seats, so it was a little difficult to carry all our food and our drinks. Um, we actually ended up getting Carbock Ranch Waters. A lot cheaper, like we were talking about earlier, about uh, getting those doubles that we normally get. So anyways, take a look here. Before I take a bite. Claire got a baked potato. Some chips and putting some toppings on them. Ooh. And I got a brisket sandwich with a cobbler, recommended by um, the lady helping us. So we just finished uh, our dinner. It was okay. I think we uh, agreed that there's a place on uh, the main concourse on level one called um, Jackson, Jackson Street, Street Barbecue. 
That place is pretty good. Superior. We usually get the same thing down there. Claire gets the baked potato. I get the <laughs> hot beef sandwich. Yeah, it's a little bit better than this. I don't remember what this one's called. The butcher's or something like that. It was fine. It's just not as good. It was good. Our Carbock Ranch Waters. Those are nice and cold. So one thing that we noticed when we sat down um, is that the starting catcher, Mal Martin Maldonado, is playing first base. It's pretty funny. It looks a little awkward. I don't think I've ever seen Martin play first base before. Mm. Or anywhere on the infield for that matter. Just catcher. He dove for a ball, and it looked kind of funny. Well, he is kind of funny when he slides. <laughs> so we found this wall of uh, all the team pictures. I wanted, we wanted to point this out because this is the, the 2020 team, and you can see they're all wearing their face masks. It's kind of funny. And then check this one out. 2017 World Series team. It's pretty awesome. Needed a break. Team's doing poorly. Claire thinks that if she uh, steps away for a little bit, they'll start catching up, so we'll see. So we're headed down to the main car concourse, headed towards the, uh, the main team store at Union Station. It's definitely a it's definitely a lot crowd, much more crowded down here. See, we're almost down the escalator. Main concourse is a lot crazier. Oh, gotta go this way. Headed towards the team store. The store is pretty cool. It has, it's huge. That's where I've spent a lot of money over here. Um, Claire's starting to walk a little bit faster. I'm not sure why. One of our favorite players for the Astros is Alex Bregman, and he actually made his own salsa, and it's called Breggy Bomb, and they have these t-shirts, so I think I'm gonna get one. So yeah, it's we haven't tried sweet. we haven't tried the salsa yet, but we need to. So it's for you, Breggy. And of course, as soon as we leave, all we hear is people yelling. Uh, it's going crazy. So when we left, it was 4-0, twins. Now it's 1-4-1. Um, so we found the TV in the team store. Now we're checking it out. It's because I'm not watching it. So every time we come to this team store, Claire takes a beeline for, for this cardigan here. And, um, it's pretty cool, but the problem is it's like $200 and she's afraid that she's never going to be able to wear it anywhere. So, but she could see her down there. She, she found another TV watching the game. See, found the TV, couldn't find her. She's right here watching the game on the TV. See, there she is again, looking at that card again. I don't know why she just doesn't buy it. Does not make any sense? Sad. Oh my gosh, check out this shirt. That's pretty funny. Hot curry all summer. So I have to admit, Claire's been wanting the cardigan and I've been eyeing these belts right here, but just found out they're $150, so a little steep. Not 200 though, but it's this one's 150, a little steep. So Claire's actually gonna try it on. She's been talking about it for the past, like, I don't know, 30 minutes since we've been in this little store. So, I don't know. I think she's trying to justify it. Looks good. I think you should buy it. I think she's gonna buy it. She keeps looking at it. Every time we're here, dry clean only. So, that's not gonna stop her though. So, I really like the cardigan, and I've liked it for a couple of years now. I just have... Something's happening, I it's thought, loud. I thought it was gonna be like $100 or less, but I have a hard time justifying spending $200 for it. So, Michael has the idea to walk to another team store so I can look at it again. Oh, this is awesome. 
ahead. Here we go, walking towards the next team store. I think she's gonna buy it when she sees it again. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think she's gonna buy it. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Jackson Street barbecue that we talked about earlier. That's much better than the, the barbecue that we had upstairs. So definitely check this one out. So we're back from our little excursion. Um, we actually stayed in the main concourse and we found some empty seats. Um, at least hoping that they're now empty. Um, and kind of a funny story that goes along with these seats is that uh, the last, or no, a couple games ago, uh, Michael had gotten tickets from a corporate partner and um, they they were really good seats. We were really excited about them. We actually invited my dad to come with us and we were really excited to show up these seats. And um, we got here and the weather was terrible and the system was down. <laughs> it was pouring. The system was down and I, the, all the tickets are electronic so I... Um, I couldn't pull it up on my phone. And so I went to the ticket booth and they pulled up the tickets and they were saying that the tickets were scanned by somebody else. And so we didn't have access to the tickets. We couldn't get in at all. And my dad very graciously bought the three of us tickets just to get into the game. And just the cheapest, cheapest tickets that you could get. And so we came in here and we sat in these seats and we were just enjoying the game. And Michael was just, he couldn't, Michael couldn't believe that those tickets were taken. So uh, we had a kind of a bet. I, I thought that they were taken and Michael did not think so. And so he wandered off by himself. And I could actually watch him from these seats. Go, I could watch him go down the aisle and uh, um, lo and behold, the seats were empty. So we uh, got to enjoy our seats for the rest of the game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the seats what we were supposed to have and ended up sitting at, at towards, it was probably the third inning when we moved. Yeah. We're literally right behind the home dugout, um, maybe 10 rows back. So they were, they were nice. I mean, you could basically yell at the first baseman. Um, but right now where we're at, It's basically right field, right in the history of the right, the uh, foul pole line. So not not too bad, but uh, um, not as good as as the seats. They were like right <laughs> over there somewhere. So, but these aren't too bad. Currently at the um, what inning are we? We're at the top of the eighth. Game's almost almost over. Um, Gosh, the score is 5-1, Minnesota. So, still time left. We uh, we did go to the team store again. She didn't buy the car again. I don't know what happened there. I really thought she was gonna buy it. So, <laughs> if you guys think she did or didn't, she didn't. However, it was the seventh inning at the time, so the drinks were about to close down for all the bars, so we ended up getting the last round, I got another uh, ranch water. What'd you get there? The Bud Light Seltzer Black Bud Cherry. Bud Light Seltzer Black Cherry. Well, Not we, bad. I think I will get the card again. Um, it just didn't seem like the right time. So, so I'm sure once it starts to cool down, I'll be more in the mood for it. And probably other Houstonians will too. So there might not be the sizes available, but I know it's been a while, uh, been available for a couple of years now. So. Yeah, August might be the wrong time to buy it, or actually might be the right time, because there's plenty of them. Um, is the wrong time to wear it unless you crank that AC down in your in your house. So <laughs> that's what I suggested to her. But I don't know. Maybe next time we come to the game. I think I'm supposed to have some another set of tickets on uh, August 23rd, I believe. So news to me. Yeah. Maybe she'll buy it then. We'll see. So we just left the game. I think it was, uh, what was it, the bottom of the eighth. Last AB for, for the Astros, now they're top of the ninth. It was like, basically summed up the game. They hit it out there. Almost a home run. Wasn't a home run. Sucked.
but it was still a good time. Um, it's always fun coming to the game, so we always enjoy doing that. Yeah. Um, leaving with some Astros merch like we always do, so Breggy Bomb um, t-shirts, pretty excited about that. Next up, need to try out the salsa. Yeah, we're gonna find that salsa somewhere. So, that's it. Had fun at the Astros game. Hope you guys uh, come visit. We gotta cross straight. Hold on. I guess we're recording. Right. Barely made it. <laughs> that was kind of sketchy. That's okay. Well, all right. We gotta cross straight again.